Hi and welcome to my video tutorials about web center spaces. Uh, it's been a while since I made my last video tutorial but I have the intention of building some more tutorials. So if you guys have some ideas of uh, topics that you want to know more about just let me know in the comments and maybe I can make a tutorial about it. The topic for today is working with group spaces and subspaces. If you have followed my tutorial on my blog then you might know that uh, one of the new features of WebCenter PS3 is that we can have multiple uh, levels of pages. While in groups and in WebCenter spaces this is not really the case. You can only create one single level of pages but we can work with subspaces and by creating subspaces you can insert them in the navigation model and by doing so we can create multiple levels of pages and this is exactly what I'm going to show today. By doing this uh, there are some things that you need to know about the context of the group space and I will talk about this also. So first of all this is my web center space environment. Uh, it's a clean environment so as you can see uh, I don't have created any spaces yet so this is the first thing I will do. So I can create this from here. Yeah. I created from here. So, name of your space. Let's create a support portal. Uh, we don't need any of the other things. Uh, let's specify support for the URL and make it a public one. Next, select the portal site and let's create it. Okay, so as you can see, we have one single page. Uh, I'm not sure if I covered this in the last tutorials, but if we go to manage pages, you can see that there are actually more pages, but they don't, uh, they aren't visible in the navigation model because the checkbox here isn't checked. So when we check them, you can see they appear here. So, but for now, we're going to leave them blank, and we'll create our own pages. So first of all, let's create a knowledge base uh, page. Okay, we will use this to put some content on it, to put a wiki on it. I will cover this in the next tutorials. Let's add some more pages. Create page. Of course, a support page. Save, close. Well, I don't need to press the save button. And let's create another page with, for example, no issues. Create. Okay, so now we have a few pages, and now we will add uh, a group space, uh, a subspace of this space, with the collaboration pages. Uh, for example, events, lists, discussions, documents. We will create a group space uh, from it, and we will include this into this uh, space. So, how do we create this? Just press create and subspace. Now we get the same pop-up. We name this collaboration because this is where all collaboration pages will be and we specify the URL now at first sight you probably want to do something like this support collaboration unfortunately this isn't possible as you can see it's not permitted because the slash is not a valid character um, so this is a little bit of a disadvantage of web center spaces you can't create a URL uh, with this so a good idea uh, for creating the URL is by specifying support underscore collaboration. So now you can see this distinction between the parent and its child. So if you create more subspaces of the support space, then you have support underscore your other space. So this is a little trick and a little workaround, but uh, yeah, get the picture. Let's press next. And as the template, let's select the project site. Why not? And let's create it. So, as you can see, this is a completely different template uh, because we have our menu on the left hand side, which will. This is a very good example because we will see the default behavior of spaces and how we can change this. So, these pages are good. So, when we go to documents, um, we can see that the documents will be stored in the support underscore collaboration folder. This folder is created automatically because we have specified uh, the collaboration subspace. So 
uh, when we create new documents, we upload documents, they will be stored here. Uh, we have events, we can create events, we have wikis, we have lists. Uh, for example, only project wiki, this is just document. Uh, we can create pages, we can manage pages, let's see if there are any hidden. Yeah, the activity stream is hidden, so let's make it available. And project wiki, we don't need it because we have our knowledge base and that's it. So we are going to include this into our original space. So let's head back, spaces, support. And as you can see by default you have this link subspaces which will link to the collaboration. And as you can see you get the template, uh, you get basically it's just a link if you take a look, the URL is now isn't available here, but if you take a look at the URL, you will see that it will go to slash uh, support underscore collaboration. So, we will do this in another way. The problem with this is, when we go to support, we want to see the each page separately, where people can directly click on documents, or on activity stream, or on lists. And we also want to inherit the template, the template used here instead of uh, this ugly template with left hand side navigation. So in order to do this we need to change the navigation model. So I've been talking about the navigation model in my previous videos. I wrote a lot about navigation model on my blog so if you want to learn more about it just go read there. Um, you manage them in the resources uh, navigations and as you can see this is the default one, it's created by the system so we can't edit it so we need to make a copy out of it so let's say support default nav model okay and now we can edit it let's make it available so that we can select it in the drop down list and let's start editing so as you can see this is the, the default navigation model it is a page query, it shows the saved searches and it also shows uh, all the subspaces. This is what shows the link with the collaboration. Uh, let's remove this because we want to display it in another way. And if you have read my blog then you probably should know about page hierarchy and about pages.xml. So in Web Center spaces each group space has their own pages.xml. And this is exactly what we are going to add in our navigation model. So let's create an add and page query. So by adding a page query, we create a reference to a pages.xml. So our collaboration group space uh, has a pages.xml behind the screens. Uh, we don't really know the path because it is saved in the MDS and so on. But this pop-up will uh, guide us through uh, a small wizard so we can select it very easily. So as you can see here, we specify the name, which is actu actually the link in our navigation model. So let's call it collaboration. Um, it's visible, yeah, of course it's visible. And as you can see, we can select the home space, which is um, the default one of the user. We can select a space uh, that we can select from, from a pop-up or we can specify a path to the pages.xml or the pages the page itself. So as you can see we can select the page but we are going to select an entire space. In this pop-up you'll see all the spaces so not only the subspaces but every space. So I only have two spaces but if you have created multiple spaces then you can select any space here. So we are going to select the collaboration okay and now we can select a page style and we can also select a page template. Uh, we don't specify anything because we are going to take a look at the default behavior. Okay, so now that we've changed the navigation model, we need to tell our group space which navigation he should use as the default. And this is done in the general settings. Here in the drop down list navigations, we have our support default nav model. Let's press apply, back to space, and now you can see the collaboration is here instead of the subspaces link, and we have all our pages. So let's click on documents. 
So as you can see, it automatically inherits the template of the space uh, what it is. So normally this page should have uh, the, the navigation model on the left hand side with the logo of the collaboration but because we have inserted it as a pages.xml it inherits the context of this group space. So you can see this also here. All the documents stored are stored in the support folder instead of the support underscore uh, collaboration. Maybe it's more clear if I show this in the event. This is the same uh, the same way. So let's create an event. I'll say team event for example. Let's create it. Now this has been created. Remember that these pages have now the context of the support group space. So this event is created in the support group space, not in the collaboration group space. Which means that if we go to the collaboration, we go to events, it's not available because we've created it in the support group space. So if we create, for example, on the tent a new group space, also team event, let's create it. Okay, uh, show this view. So now we have uh, an event on the tent. Let's go back to our support, collaboration, events. It's also not there because we've created the event in the collaboration space and not in the support space. So this is quite important and this can confuse people uh, quite a lot because they think, alright, I'll insert um, my group space here, I will also inherit the content, but that's not true. So the same way it goes for everything, lists, uh, events, activity stream, so it will show the activity stream of this group space and not of the collaboration group space, documents created will be stored in the support because we're sitting in the support group space not in the collaboration group space so we only uh, create links to the actual page but the context remains the same of this group space so this is quite important so I hope it's clear for everybody what's the difference between uh, having a separate group space and what's the difference between inserting the group space as a pages.xml as a page query in the navigation model and as adding it as a different link so remember that when we had the subspace link when we linked to it we went to the actual group space instead of inserting the group space uh, to its context so I hope it's clear for everybody if there are questions please let me know in the comment section if you have uh, ideas for op other topics that you would like to see videos of just let me know and maybe I can write uh, a tutorial about it. So uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.